Alright, so here I'm attempting to balance the flywheels or actually more accurately measure how much um, weight offset is required in order to balance the flywheels. So I've done, I've weighed one of the flywheels uh, or the, sorry, the weight offset uh, and that came to 918 grams. Now I'm doing the drive end flywheel, which is the one that's driving the alternator over there. Now, this one here is actually uh, quite a bit heavier. So all I'm doing here, I've got a motorbike um, balancing stand and um, I'm just rocking it backwards and forwards until that, uh, that weight there becomes horizontal. So I've pretty much found the weight required to be able to do that. Uh, let's see a scone. Fairly horizontal there. Um, the amount of tension required to actually modify that is very low, so I think it's pretty pretty accurate. You know, I mean, plus minus a few grams zinc isn't really gonna make too much difference. So now, let's see what this one is. I've just got a set of kitchen scales, which uh, the missus was kind enough to lend to me. Let's give this one a go. One. Okay, we're in grams. So let's lower that. All right, so 1.443 kilograms. That's a big difference. So I'm just going to write that down and 14.43. So from the top of my head, um, uh, I seem to remember you have to offset 33% of the reciprocating mass. So it's a certain percentage of your, um, your main uh, con rod because uh, you've got like a ratio of heavy to light end or small to big end um, so you do a certain percentage of that plus uh, your pin and, and the piston and everything else that's actually reciprocating up and down and um, a percentage of that is offset I think it's I thought it was around 33% or 35% or something like that um, so first of all need to get those the offset weight the same so we're um, um, either put some more weight on that one there or put some weight on the opposite side of this one in order to bring that down to the same offset weight as that one there uh, so then once that's done then I just um, work out the 33% of the reciprocating mass I think some other guys on, on um, the Lister Engine Forum have actually done that already. Um, they've spent quite a bit of effort to work that out. Um, I think my piston is all steel. I don't think it's a um, aluminium piston, piston at all. So I just get the values off that, work that out, um, and then I can see how much I have to offset it by. So it's a fairly calculated method. Once the flywheels are the same though, you can pretty much just add or subtract weight to the opposite side or the uh, weighted side um, in order to just get it to a smooth point. You know, so when you start off with a rough amount, like 33% or whatever, and then just add more to either this side or that side there. But mate, I think it has to be the same on both flywheels. So you want the same offset mass on both the flywheels to begin with, and then you add the same quantity to each side. Otherwise you've got one side bagging up and down, the other side's not, and vice versa. So this thing here, um, had quite a bit of issues with resonance frequency um, with, with them unbalanced. Uh, the whole frame, including the engine, weighs about 500 kilos, and but once it starts getting into resonance frequency, it just the whole thing just starts picking up, and, and um, then we have liftoff. So I actually have to jump up on the frame and get it out of that uh, resonance in order to, uh, in order for it to stop shaking across the floor. 
so yeah hopefully once this is a bit more balanced it'll be a bit smoother in operation so yeah anyway I'll um, probably do another video once it's all done and we can see the improvements <laughs>